Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. My name is Jamie, I'm from Morgan's Games. Today we're doing an unboxing video. Now today I'm going to be trying out my first ever monster joystick. And I've heard so much positive feedback on it, and I've been meaning to get one for quite some time, but I just didn't have the money to do so. But I bought it. It cost me £69, I think it was, and there's so many different styles, I didn't realise how many there were. Now, for those of you who know me very, very well, I'm a big fan of the Zip Sticks. It's my favourite joystick of all time, always has been, always will be. I've got four of them. We've been five, but fortunately in 2019 I had my first casualty. I was playing Toki on live stream and it snapped inside. But there we go. Now, for those who know them very, very well, they have two buttons, but unfortunately, they both do exactly the same thing. Now, I have tried cruisers in the past, that was also a very good joystick, and also quick shots, or quick fires, I think they are. And again, two buttons, but they both do the same thing. Now, I even went as far as buying myself a nine-pin cable, so I was going to try and turn one of these into a two-button joystick, but unfortunately, I didn't quite have the guts to do it. So I thought, the only way is buying a monster joystick, which, of course, is two buttons. Now in 2019, I was one of the lucky ones to receive a box version of Rygar. Now Mr. Graham Cowie says that it's best to play that game with a two-button joystick, but unfortunately I don't have one. I made a video of it, and I used a zip stick. But I've always wondered what it would be like to play some of these other Amiga games using a two-button joystick, as I've never experienced it. Epidia. Tremendous game, completed it many, many times. To activate weapons, you press the space bar. Product X, very, very similar. Again, space part activate weapons, but there are a few other ways you can do it, but a little bit of a nuisance. Tarkin 2, space bar to activate the power lines. And Battle Squadron, never ever finished it due to that Nova bomb. To activate a Nova bomb, you have to go around in the circular motion on the joystick, which is difficult when you've got bullets going left, right, and center. And R type, yes, I know you guys could see this one coming. To deactivate the force, you press the space bar. So, what would you like to play those games with a two button joystick? Well, I'm going to find out today. Now it's not just Commodore that these work on, they also work on other systems as well, including the Mars system. I'm a big fan of the Mars system, I got given this in 2019 by one of my awesome subscribers. The problem is, I don't like control pads, I never have done. When I did that unboxing video, I plugged in the joystick and it worked, which is fantastic, but if I only play the game, I only need one button, which is Sonic, it's the only one I can think of. But games like Ninja, which I love, r -Type, of course, and Wonder Boy 3, you need more than one button. So that's another reason why I went for the monster joystick. So as you can see, it needs to be put together, which I'll include in this video. Now I went for the Deluxe Mini Monster Retro Gaming Joystick Kit Cherry Red Single Kit. Cost me $54.99 plus your usual post and packing. Thank you for your order. We take every care to ensure that the purchase reaches you in excellent condition and we hope that you'll be delighted with your item. If, however, you wish to return or replace a product, please carefully read the information below before doing so. It's going to be fine, mate. Now, the next part of the video is putting it together. Now, there's not many people I know that have got them, but they've all said they're very, very easy to put together. So we have the buttons, we also have the top of the joystick, and the joystick itself, which works absolutely superbly well. We have cables, various nuts, bolts and washers, and of course, the casing itself. And most importantly, we have the instruction book. Okay, I'm going to put this together now. At the moment, it looks like a joystick jigsaw puzzle, but there we go.
There is my monster toy set, very pleased with it. A little bit fiddly at times, but if you're used to fixing stuff, you're used to putting things back together on a regular basis, you're gonna fly through it with flying colours. But I'm really pleased with it. And for some reason, a screw is missing. Whether it was actually in the bag, or it's fallen on the floor, and not under the table, or under the sofa, I don't know. But I'll find it when I do the hoovering. Hopefully the hoover doesn't vacuum it up. But, you can put it on the left side or the right. Now I'm gonna go for the right side because I'm right-handed. It might look left to you because it's actually reversed. And then we have our two buttons here. Now it's going to take some getting used to, I'm not going to use it all the time, but some of the time I will do, but you can see it's a huge difference to what I'm used to. So what we're going to do now is test it out on a few games and see what it's like. But you do have your 9 pin port there, all good to go. There we go, we're going to pick a few games at random, but let's start off with Token 2, shall we? Classic. Okay, this is another game, this is Tarkin 2, an absolute classic. Right, a good place to start with this monster joystick. Now this character has lots of different abilities. We have that one, and we have the lightning. And of course he has a few other ones, because we need a space bar. Well, that is still the case, but if you want to, we can use the second button. Which is that one. And it works absolutely superbly. Now I have to admit, it's going to take a lot of getting used to, but I'm not going to stop using my zip stick, but from time to time I'm going to be using this. Now also, we can go into a gyroscope by pressing down on the spacebar. Again, we don't need to anymore, just do that. Brilliant. That makes it a lot more easier, a lot more faster. And also, if you press both buttons down at the same time, you do this crazy move. And I've always wondered, how do you do that? 
A few times in the past, I did manage to do it with zip stick. But there we go, that makes it a lot more easier. So, we're firing all cylinders. So, it's brilliant. It works fantastically well. There we go, that's some of that. I've never done that before. Never killed him like that. Okay, he's dead, Jamie. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. <laughs> Crazy move. There we go. Next on the list, Project X. Let's give this a whirl with a two-button joystick. Brilliant game, absolutely love it. Completed it a few times, but selecting weapons with the space bar when you've got lots of bullets being thrown in your direction is quite tricky. Project X on your Amiga, another superb shoot em up. Now this game, normally you'd activate weapons by using the space bar. However, there is other ways you can do it, which I found out in one of my streams, but I don't particularly like those. We're gonna do it this way. We're gonna use the two-button joystick. I'm doing this for the first time. Right, we start off with absolute basics. So, we need side, we need plasma, and we need missiles. But we need to stay alive. And I'm going to select plasma, as I've always set to plasma. It is my favourite weapon in this game. Right, build up we don't need because we're using auto fire. Which is the default setting on this game. Right, missile, why not? Speed up, why not? It's so much easier. The only problem I can fault with this joystick is it's not particularly comfortable. This section round the bottom here is actually quite sharp and it is leaving indentations on my hands. Apart from that, it's working superbly well, but it is still taking some getting used to. Now, I'm also using the joystick on the table. Now, normally I wouldn't do that, but for this video, I'm making an exception. So that is, again, quite uncomfortable for me, but the joystick is working absolutely superbly well. Right, we need some more weapons. Now this next section I'm going to edit down because this bit goes on for ages and it's very difficult to kill. So I go around in circular motions. Now every time you destroy a pack of enemies you get a P, which is a power. And that's how we get additional weapons. Select the one you want and then we're going to press the second button, not the space bar today, and upgrade it. So we need sight. And we need it now. We have it. And it's so much easier because I don't have to take my finger off the fire button to press the space bar. My weapons are still quite weak. And that's one of those games that when you die, you lose quite a lot of your weapons. You don't lose all of them unless your powers are quite weak when you die. But most of the time, you just lose a few. But take too many deaths and you'll go back to basics. And a game of this difficulty, that's usually game over. Unless you're fluky, of course. Right, okay, we need plasma. Upgrade a little bit more than this. Right, here we go. Now, guns is a good weapon, but it's not as good as plasma. But then guns is a lot easier to get because it only takes two power to get there. Size with a max out as well. When it's maxed out, it goes grey. Now this one, we actually gain you three power-ups, and that's never happened before. I only got one out of that. Exploded off the screen. So we've got one out of three there. Right, we've got four lives. This game does not issue many extra lives. The only way you do that is in bonus stages. Right, keep left, Jamie. Right. Destroy wave for power -ups. We still need more power-ups. Go for a missile, they are very, very strong. We need to max out this plasma. Okay. Plasma, let's power up. I told me so. It's quite risky in this section like this because you don't want to go up there, gain a power up, and all of a sudden something falls down from the top and kills you instantly. Right, build up, no point. Now I've actually got this on two green screens today. I've got one behind me, and I've got another green screen on the table, which is called in the joystick. Hopefully you won't see any green apart from my plasma, which is green. Right, there we go again. Right, this is a difficult section. I've always disliked this section, but you can get a lot of power ups here. Try and aim to get that stealth. And it 
it does last quite a long time. The next section is unbelievably difficult without stealth. But I have done it once. Not today. I think a fool will try it out on a video like that today. We've got to get there first. We've got to keep it there first. Right, we have it. We are invincible. This is very, very difficult to do without stealth. Even with decent firepower, it is quite tricky. My finger is actually starting to hurt. I've been holding this button down continuously for quite some time now. And I'm probably going to have some lovely indentations on the palm of my hand. But these enemies don't appear on the special edition. Another does this one. Pow. Another one. Can not shoot their bullets? It's not the case with all of them. Some of them it is. Right, we go through the asteroid field for the second time. Now, not all of them you earn power-ups. Only double ones and super large asteroids. But even with this firepower, they do take a lot of, a lot of hits to kill. I'm missing all the double ones. Alright, we go back to these again, which appeared at the start, and again, more opportunities to get more additional weapons. Now, only a certain number of power-ups appear on the screen, and if it's maxed out, more won't appear, so collect them. Right, we need missile. There we go, missile is maxed out, plasma is maxed out, side is maxed out, and speed up is maxed out. And we're going through asteroids again. There we go. Boss territory. I'm taking my finger off the button for the first time. But not for long. Right, here we go. Boss battle. Put it X. We've got monster joystick. Not much music in this game, but it is very good music. So shoot the centre. Only when it's open, but it's not open all the time. Sometimes. Very limited area. There we go. Boom, boom, pow! I have some of that. Ouch! Yeah, I've got some nice indentations on my hand there. Next up, a Pidia. This is my second box. The other one is made of green, so I won't show you. Why the start? Okay, in this game, we get the extra selection. We've got the automatic, the second button, or the stick. Right, we're going to go for the second button. Go. Okay, this is a Pidia two-button joystick style. Okay, now I'm going to select the weapons in the order I want to do it, using the second button. Even though I go for the same weapons, usually I go for automatic, and the Amiga will select the weapon which it feels best at the time it feels best. And it always does it in a certain order. But even though I'm going to go for the same thing, we'll do it in my own order. Because normally it goes for speed, bomb, spread shot, fly, bomb, spread shot, and then stealth them rightly. Right, they also have a beam bar, which is a bee sting. Right, this is working superbly well. Really, really fantastically well. And I mean, get these weapons by picking up flowers. And the spread shot is already maxed out. So let's go and get a fly. And you also get stealth. It's similar to uh, Product X. This one, you can keep it for a much longer time, unless you take something like a really bad hit. You fly into something you shouldn't do. Like a mushroom or a boss or get hit by a really bad enemy projectile, then you'll lose it immediately. Right, fly. Activate the fly. We have the fly. First of two. What going on? This is a tremendous game. Big, big fan of this game. Beat it many, many times. Right, we don't have any bombs yet. I don't think we've ever got to this point with no bombs. Right, but we are invincible. If I don't get hit by something really bad. Hey, boss battle, which is a caterpillar. There we go, boom, boom, pow! Maybe you still don't have your bomb, man. 
And where the fuck is this joystick? There's actually another switch. Now I've tried it, it doesn't do anything. I'm really not sure what it is actually supposed to do. Unless I put it together wrong, I don't think I have. But if it's also fire, I'm really not sure. Now one of the problems with selecting your own weapons is you tend to forget what you wanted to get. And I've actually got here with no bombs. I've never got here with no bombs before, but everything else is maxed out. So yeah, I keep forgetting to select it. Even though it's only second on the list. There we go. Again, we have indentations. You can buy that one. Come on! You guys knew it was going to happen, didn't ya? This is our type. Blast off and shot the Evil Bottle Empire, 1987. But I'm doing it for a different reason today. Because I'm using a two-button joystick. I've never tried this before. Okay, our type. My favourite game of all time. Now, I've never played an arcade version of this game. And I've never played it with two buttons. Right, on we go. Now, hopefully this will allow me to do that long play on the Master System, which I've been meaning to do for quite some time. Because I don't like pads on hold. Right, on we go. So, we're going to try it out with the force. But unfortunately we don't have it yet. Until then, shoot everything that moves. Right, on we go. Let's test it out now, shall we? Now, you, when you press the second button, the force will come to you. There we go. Come to Papa. And then press it again to deactivate. And that is so much easier. Absolutely superb. However, we want it here. There we go. Superb. Absolutely superb. Stop the game off with two lights. Now, there's a few very, very difficult levels in this game where you have to put the force at the back. And that's quite difficult when you're trying to use a space bar. So that's going to make it a lot more easier. The trouble is, Jamie, how much do you play today for footage? Enough. <laughs> Enough. Alright, speed up. It still takes some getting used to. I'm still not 100% used to it by now. Now, it is still taking some getting used to. It's still quite uncomfortable, but then I am trying to play this at full stretch. Normally, I use the joystick on my lap. Not today, because I'm recording it. I've got a green screen behind it. So hopefully you won't see any green, but yeah. Having a joystick a little bit closer to me is, is going to make it a lot better. My arm is actually starting to ache. Then I'm playing a lot of shoot 'em up today. Which requires a lot of button pressing, repeatedly. At arm stretch length. Right. Charge that beam. Fantastic. Working superbly well, apart from the indentations on my palm and an achy arm. Right, here we go. This next boss has been killed so many times, in so many different ways, on so many different versions. But I've never killed him with a two-button joystick. But I'm going to do it the same way as I've always done it. I'm going to detach the force and attack it with the force. Right, ready? Go, go, go! Superb! That's no death protection! <laughs> there we go! It works superbly well. This is quite painful. I need to put something on the edge there. I totally forgot about this one, but yeah, this is another one that is quite difficult if you're going to use a single button joystick because you want to try and do those loop the loops. So, this should make it a lot easier. Yeah, you see? Two button joystick. Right, okay. Okay, Banshee. Right, let's see how we do. Now, normally, I'm able to use those loop the loops. Right, so, press the second button, and we shall do just that. Now, I don't understand why you still take hits. I thought the idea of doing the loop the loop is you avoid getting hit. Right? Wrong, I guess. I need to read the manual a little bit more. Right, okay. However, this one is auto-fire as well, so a huge bonus as well. Right, now you pick up three of these build-ups, and that will prevent you from losing weapons when you die. So, if I had three of them, you don't lose any. If you have one, I think you probably lose two weapons. If you've got two of them, you lose one weapon. That's how it works. It's a nice touch, this game, though. But there we go. It works superbly well. Brilliant. But it's a mystery. The whole thing is a mystery. But then when you finish the loop and loop you are then invincible for a short period of time. Yeah. 
I don't know a lot about it because I very rarely get to use it because I don't have the right joystick to do so. Right, next up, Battle Squadron. Now, one of my subscribers will very much approve of me trying this out because this is a problem when it comes to using a Nova Bomb. Battle Squadron. Right, can we use a second button when activating a bomb? We shall find out. And that's my phone telling me eBay is about to happen. Okay, this is not a game. This is Battle Squadron. Now, to activate a bomb, you hold the fire button down and then go around in circular motions, which is a bit of a, tr a tricky situation in a game like this. And that's the reason why I've never completed this game. But, that's interesting. It doesn't work. I thought that would have worked. I was certain that was going to work, but it doesn't. So, we still got to go around in circular motions. However, this game can be played with a mouse. So, will that work? I've never tried it with a mouse before. I guess it probably would. Alright, okay. Works like that. Not like that. Doesn't work with two buttons either. Alright, okay. Well, I'm learning. I'm definitely learning. I really thought that was going to be the way to go. But if you hold that button down and go around in a circular motion, it doesn't work. Right, okay, some games support it and some do not. Next on the list is Legendary Warrior. This is Rygar. Right, controller, two buttons. It's already selected. Right, let's see how we do with this. So jumping will be done by a different button. Now, Mr. Graham Cowley said it's best to play this game with two buttons. Okay, let's fight. Okay, this is Rygar. Finally, we're playing it on a two-button joystick. Sorry, Mr. Cowley, it took me quite some time. Now, you start the game off with nothing, apart from your usual attack and your usual jump. But this time, we got a separate button to do it. Now, we use a disc armor, which works pretty much like a ball and chain. Now, you can actually use it on the ground, in the air, while crouching, and you also swing it over your head by pressing up and fire. But now, we can jump by pressing an additional button. Which Mr. Cowley said is better. That will kill everything on the screen. At the moment, we have no additional skills. That one increases the power. But, when you die, you lose everything. Right, on we go. Now, this is timed. It's a superb game. But very, very difficult. Now, this is going to this is gonna take a lot of getting used to, because I've played this game quite a lot, and I've played it a lot with a single button joystick. So, this can be quite difficult to adapt to. But, so far, it's going well. There we go. We get to the end of the stage, and you get bonuses. We get repulse bonuses. And we got 58 of those. Rank bonus, and timer bonus, and total bonus. Okay, round two, we keep that power up. Right, on we go. They can pick quite a lot of items up in this game, including additional lights, shields, and of course, points. Now these stones that appear from time to time, hit them with your disc armor, and you get quite a lot of good stuff from them. But we don't have my favorite weapon yet, which is a tiger power. But this game has so many enemies, and some of them will die with a single hit, and some take a lot more. Right, 10,000 points bonus. Now these rhinos are difficult because you've got to crouch. And when there's a lot of them around, you don't even have time to crouch. Right, there's a tiger power! We have the tiger power! In the nick of time too! So now we can jump on their heads, and that's definitely going to make them angry. Right, boom, boom, power, that's some of that. Right. Not only do you get lots of enemies on the ground, you do get a lot in the air. Right. Ugh! So we have two powers. There we go. Boom, boom, pow. Right, so we have three lights. That's the end of round two. Repulse bonus. 62. Round three. Okay. There we go. Right, we have 60 seconds again. Extra life at 200,000 points. Right, do not fall in the water. This guy has many, many skills. Swimming is not one of those skills. But Tiger Power is one of those skills, and that's a skill I don't want to lose. There's some very, very big enemies in this game, and once stuck with that, 
I shouldn't have then. And this one's not too bad. If I only go with the flow, it should be fine. There's not actually a lot of enemies on there. Most of them are airborne. Round four. Look at that. The cure rhino with one stamp. Alright. These are called. Rolfers? Right, there's additional life. Right, so much going on here. Jump over the squirrel. Kill the Rolfers. Try to remember everything I spoke about on that video I did on this game. My unboxing video. They do remind me of Tremors. I'm afraid they get killed by Ooh, Squirrel! Killed by that thing. I can't remember what his name was. I should have jumped on his head. That would be the way to go. But that's lost me everything. Ah, oh, so close to the end as well. Ah, oh, that was a costly mistake. If I jumped on his head, that would be a, a, such a big difference. Okay, we're now going on to the Master's Son. Let's try this one out. This is the Ninja. This is a game I absolutely love. But I cannot play it on a control pad. So I hope we go for a two button joystick. So far, so good. Okay, this is not the game. This is the Ninja, one of my favourite games on the Mars system. And when I did that unboxing of that Mars system, I played this. But I use a joystick. I don't like that pad. I don't like any pads. So, as a result of that, I couldn't do that, which is an invisibility move, which you use to avoid enemy attacks. And when you like that, it does work in a way as a little bit of teleportation. But it, you're invincible. Right, now there's a, a level I got to, which are on the water. And I couldn't get past it because I couldn't do that move. And you desperately need it in a level like that. Because there's not a lot of room to move because you're on a plank of wood. You're on a log. Multiple logs on the water. And be attacked from lots and lots of enemies. And that's difficult to do when you can't use your teleportation invisibility move. But now we're going to be able to do that. Right, boss battle. Now this is a game I absolutely love, but I've never got far in it because of the reasons I've already explained. Right, kill that guy. Hit ratio 88%. Right, level 2. Right, now we're on the move. Watch out for these boulders. You know, some people did say it looks like Swedish meatballs. It does look like Swedish meatballs, but we're not going to taste like Swedish meatballs. But, we've got to avoid it at all costs. Now, every so often, enemies will come out the ground. And they'll throw a star at you. Now, if you time it right, you can actually hit their star with your own star. Which is fantastic. Now, some of these rocks, the small rocks, will actually turn into human beings. Now, you don't want to get hit in the face by one of those rocks. That's definitely going to knock you out. And it's a one-hit-die situation. They can get additional scrolls. Which upgrades your stars, your throwing stars. This is not a, le a long level, but the bosses are the same. I'm being attacked by a guy that looks like he was in Big Trouble Little China. But it's very difficult to outrun. Did I do it? I, I did it! By the skin of my teeth! My lord! You know what, there's something else I learned today. Now if you go in any direction, you can shoot in the direction you're facing. But if you press this one, whatever direction you're running, you can actually fire forwards. And you can do that while retreating. Now I had no idea that was the case. Because I was using a joystick, that was another ability I couldn't use. And that'd be very handy for boss battles. Because half the time, I'm running back from him. So you can actually run back and fire forwards. So I'm retreating and fire forwards. That is so much better. I can't believe I didn't know that. Even the old days didn't know that. Right, here we are. This is a level I can't get past. Let's see how we do this time. Lord. Well, I'm already doing better. Already doing better. A lot better. Amazing what happens when you have an additional button. Oh, I still died though. But that is definitely the best I've ever done. My Lord. Still difficult though. 
And they fire so fast. Boss battle. You're having a laugh. Uh. All right. Okay. So, I guess, I guess it's best to be on the bottom log. My lord. Well, I die, but I'm definitely learning, but that does help quite a lot, I have to admit. Anyway, that is more than enough footage, Jamie. That is a really, really good piece of kit. It's painful, it's still leaving indentations on my hand. Okay, that's more than enough footage. I'm really, really pleased with it, but it's still quite painful at times, and it's going to take some getting used to. But anyway, I'm really, really liking it. But anyway, this is Jamie from Warner's Games. Please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe to my channel, Facebook fan page, my Instagram, also on Twitch. Just type in Warner's Games, you'll find it fairly easy. And please remember to click on the bell icon that will notify you of videos that upload. Fantastic. Want to do new sort of videos? I do retro long plays about cheats, how to beat making, and live streams every Friday night. You'll get time very hot. Highlight my week. Till next time, take it easy. Ciao, bye. See ya. I really should have called you Tails. That's what we tend to see as well. You need not my tea out of my hand. Yeah! Not once, but twice. Wait. Don't knock that over. No, it took me about 10 minutes to get in the right position. Wait. You know what? You should so have been called Tails. Stop touching that. No, don't touch that either. You knock this out of my hand, you're going to get the shot of your life. It'll go all over your face. <coughs> you are a double man. <laughs> Hello. No, I knew that. I knew that was not going to be in the situation. Blimey! How am I not dying here? Select now for speed up. I'm <laughs> I'm actually altering my screen here to try and get in shot, and I'm not dying. This is probably the longest time I've actually stayed still and not died. Select now for speed. Look, my no hands. My lord. Approaching asteroid belt. There you go.